Good morning, it's time. It's the Jeffrey Lampton Show. Listen, coming up on today's show, we're continuing our coverage on the National Kidney Foundation. Of course, March is National Kidney Awareness Month, and we're going to be talking about the Spurs and Sparkles Gala that is coming to Columbia, South Carolina. Plus, we have a story about a young lady who's lost her mother. What is life like after that tragedy? Your coffee cups are up, your pinkies are out. It's time to get lamped. Good morning. Here we go. Just for but you, smile and laugh, cause God loves you. <laughs> Somebody turn the lamp on. Good morning, welcome back to the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, put your coffee cups down right now. You know, every now and then I get a powerful breakthrough story, uh, uh, one that I'm able to share with you and you're able to actually capture the heart of the person who's listening. But the one thing that I love about it is that you see the glory of God shine through in the end. What happens when you're a young child and you lose your mother, your heart? And I think about it because everyone knows how much I love and adore my mom, even to this day now, and I cherish every moment that I have with her. But what happens when you're a young lady who needs to learn principles and different things from your mom. And God allows her to go with him in heaven. What do you do? How do you live? How do you move forward? Well, I'm excited, I'm honored, and I'm humbled and grateful that a young lady by the name of Kinsley Reed has come forward to share her story this morning. And she's the author of a new book. Good, God did something good when something bad was happening, and she's here on this morning. Hey, princess. God bless you. Uncle, oh! <laughs> I just found my life. Oh, my God. Listen, oh, oh, that just gave me everything I needed. How are you? I'm good. Very good, honey. Listen, that, that girl said, God bless you. Did y'all hear that thing? Did you hear that this morning? Kinsley, talk to me. So, you're 10 years old. Yes. You're 10. What grade are you in? Fifth grade. What school do you attend? Um, Forest Hills Elementary School in Walterboro, South Carolina. Come on now, Walterboro. Shout out to all my Low Country family this morning. Love all of you <laughs> down there, the Bennett family, and all of them are down there. So good morning to you. So, Kinsley, we talk about because God allowed you at the age of 10 to write a book talking about your story and talking about what happened. Share with the viewers real quick, what happened in your life? Well, at the age of six years old, my mother died suddenly of a blood clot to her lungs. I was so sad and afraid and the spirit of grief became my issue. Then one day when me, my uncle and grandma were going through the house buying the spirit of grief mm -hmm. because we were trying to destroy our family, the Lord spoke to me and said to pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. And that's Baby, when... listen, listen, listen. Girl, you gotta <laughs> take me out in the first three minutes of the interview. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You lost your mom. Yes. Where were you? when your mom passed away, were you, do you remember? Um, yes, well, it was just after um, she was me, she was getting um, our hair done, me and my sister's mm -hmm. hair done for mm -hmm. school tomorrow, because we had picture day tomorrow. Okay. And then I remember her saying good night, and then I went to bed, okay. and then um, actually my sister remembers um, the ambulance, um, seeing the ambulance truck, and um, I remember that we were rushed out the house um, by my uncle, okay. and then we went to sleep at my grandmother's house, my mama's mama, and um, when we got up, um, my daddy came and told me, told me and my sisters that um, my mother died, um, my mother became an angel. So wait a minute, wait a minute, so you were, you were at your, you were home. Yes. You talked to your mom that night. Mm -hmm. And the last words that your mom told you was, good night. I'm sure she gave you a hug or whatever the case may be. Y'all did all of that. And you went to bed. Normal night. Mm -hmm. After she did her motherly duties of making sure your hair was going to be nice and pretty. So you will be all angelic for picture day at school the next day. Yes. And and it's so funny because I think all of us can imagine 
just can picture the scene, can't imagine that moment, but you can picture the scene where, you know, with kids, when something happens, you send them over to grandma's house. So no, at that moment, no one told y'all. You didn't know what was going on. You just know we were getting. You remember the ambulance? So you knew something was wrong, mm -hmm. but you didn't know anything. You say your dad came to you. When your dad came to you and told you that your mom became an angel, at that time, did you know what that meant? Um, I actually didn't know, and okay. I was at, and I was told my told my daddy. I was like, "What does that mean?" Mm -hmm. And he said, "You know, he said mama is dead," and he just, you know, started um, into tears, and me and my sister started crying, crying, and crying, and um, you know, I was so sad because I was kind of like. Okay, my mom is. I'm only six years old, and mm -hmm. my mama has passed. And so, mom's not there anymore. And so, you had to go to the funeral. You had to go through all of those those different things. And so, you're now is you, your dad, and your sister. What's your sister's name? Um, well, I have two sisters, okay. Keratin and Amani Reed. Okay, how old are they? Um, my Keratin is um 14, okay. and Amani is 16. Okay, so which one were you with at the? Um. Well, I was with both my sisters, okay. um, but it was really um, me and my sister Keratin. Keratin, we that's shared. the 16 year old. No, that's the 14. That's the 14 year old. Okay, so they're closer in age. Okay, so you and Keratin, y'all are, y'all are at grandma's. Y'all go through this and, and everything. So y'all are in the house one day, mm -hmm. and you're praying, and God speaks to you. And what does he say? He um, told me to pray in the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and pray in the Holy Ghost. And I really didn't know what that meant. So That's I was about to ask, did you know what praying in the Holy Ghost meant at that time? I really didn't. But, but you could hear God speaking to you. Was it scary? Um, kind of because... To hear a voice like, like somebody speaking to me, but it's like, God, where is this coming from? But I know, I, I know what I'm hearing. I'm hearing something. And to me, that's just, the, I, I just believe like your mom is up in heaven, like telling God, endow my child, touch my child, anoint my child, bless my child. Do you believe that? Yes. Yeah, that God is doing. Okay, so you heard him and he was saying that, keep going. And um, he said that, and I remember um, a couple of days before she passed, it was on Tuesday, October 13th, um, um, 2011, mm -hmm. and I remember a couple of days after that, I think it was a Sunday, um, I remember I came in the room and my mother told me to go back in the um, in my room. Then I heard a, a like a sudden like boom, mm -hmm. and um, I kept on calling my mother. I was like, Mama, 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 and then I went to the bathroom and I saw her just laying down in the bathtub. And um, so I was, you know, kind of running to the house. You know, I told my sisters, um, Mama fell, Mama fell. Then I went to my daddy, and I was like, Mama fell, and they got her up. And um, So this was a couple of days before, before she actually died. Yes. Yes. So the blood clot that came was something that had to do with the fall? It could have. Um, um, we're not sure, just like she stated. That was the ninth. That was two days before this incident happened. And um, when she came around and when she actually had that fall, just what what happened to doctors, we went that Monday. Mm -hmm. cause we did not know what happened, what caused her to fall during that time. And uh, and she did not understand or did not know what caused that. And that Monday, we went to, through exclusive tests and different things. What they did, they diagnosed her with vertigo. Okay. They say okay. that she could have had an um, imbalance that caused her to fall okay. that happened. But during that time, the blood clot was working during that time that was working through her body. But nobody so knew Nobody it. knew. All those tests. That's why I was so angry right. at the because cause that Monday we spent so many hours and the doctors going through everything and that, that was on Monday on Tuesday morning. My wife is actually a guidance counselor at Forest Hills Elementary School. Okay. And that's I, the school you're attending that's now. That's the school she okay. attends. And um, she, was a, she was in kindergarten mm. during that time. And, um, and like I said, my middle daughter mm -hmm. was actually um, attended there also. And that next morning, which was Tuesday morning, the October 11th, that's when she didn't feel up the part. So I said, well, you're moving too fast. You just was diagnosed right. with this. Slow this down just a little bit. So now okay. lay down. Okay. And what she did, she actually laid down. She was just fine. Then she started giving me instructions on what to do to carry this out that day, that type of thing. And then, okay, and then later on that night, they had McDonald's night, mm -hmm. in which McDonald's actually give them one hour for the school. And um, So she actually had my brother-in-law 
to actually take the kids there mm. for McDonald's night. Mm. And that, um, and she was also an ambassador for AKA. Mm -hmm. She's AKA, so she was on the phone, set it up the meetings and everything. They ain't resting, for but just working. Still rest, she, still she rest still, on even the phone. in the midst of her condition, yep. selfless. This, this know. shows you the character mm -hmm. of the lady that yes. you married, yes, your mom, mm -hmm. that even selfless, even in the midst of her pain or her issues, her sickness, she's mm -hmm. still going forward. Chris, I'm gonna keep going just a little bit more, okay? I'm, I'm gonna keep going with this story just a little bit more. Yes. Okay, so she she all doing all of this that night they go to bed yes. you and her are there well well um she just got through completing the hair mm -hmm. for pictures the next day mm -hmm. laying out in the bed she was discussing she was still on the phone mm -hmm. setting up that um does that meeting for wednesday like i said she was a basilisk right. for um the aka chapter mm -hmm. walterboro um alumni chapter mm -hmm. and all of a sudden she dropped the phone and said take me to call emergency. So I jumped out of the bed. I'm like, what's going on? So I, she's sitting on the phone, sitting on the side of the bed, and then all of a sudden, God just took her just like that. And she fell back on the bed. And I grabbed the phone, hit 911. I grabbed the phone right around the corner is um, where my mother-in-law and father-in-law lives mm -hmm. along with her brother, um, Mr. David Smalls. And, um, and I called them because what I was going to try to do is try to, to transport her myself, mm -hmm. try to meet the Emma. I get whatever. it, because like, listen, yeah. <laughs> listen when yeah. it's something, I got to, let me pick you yeah. up and put you in this car right now. Yeah, I'll, that's what I'm I'll doing. drive faster than the ambulance sure. there. By the so time I'm, they do yeah. all that, getting out, so I get yeah. it. So I call them for the, for the children, right. being that, for someone to be there with the child. So at that time, it was it was just a blessing to the ambulance. It was on there. They were where they got there, like five minutes. Awesome. Just the five awesome. minutes, and then God called her to glory. And like I said, and, it was um, God. You know, it's a tough situation. What was that like for you? Because now you're raising, you're left with three daughters. Well, I was angry. I didn't, didn't know anything. I I'm thought glad everything to you. Got to understand. Truth, yes, angry. angry. And I and um, this was someone I knew since the sixth grade. All right. And and this, my heart, this my was best the love friend. Of your life. Yes, she was. This was the and love I of your looked life. at it. And I said, you know, what I'm going to do? I'm 39, mm -hmm. and I'm, you know, I'm I'm left with. With you know, with this responsibility, mm -hmm. but you know, just like you know, with that book, and you read that, we had to turn to God, that's it. and that's what God took us through. Mm -hmm. And um, and like I said, and um, I know a lot of folks have asked me, oh, but you about to deal with the, your daughter with the book? I looked at it. I said, you know something? Everybody has therapy, mm -hmm. and I could have been actually in a in a midst right now of spending money out on a, a, a drained child. Right. Because how can you, you know, one morning, one moment you looking at your mother, and I and could not even imagine gone. losing my mother right. at six. Right, And so my main thing is to be the support system, and she's able to be stable, and I'm going to support her as a parent exactly. because, like I say, there's a whole lot of negative stuff that I could have been supporting. My thing is, stop asking all these questions. Would y'all yeah. please stop? <laughs> please stop with all these questions. Ain't nobody <laughs> asks you. Allow God to do what it is that He does because everything He does, He does mm -hmm. well. And you're not supposed to understand why. So it's like, yes. how can a 10 year old write a book? The same way they write their name, the same way they write sentences. People <laughs> are more advanced, more than you will ever think mm -hmm. or you will ever know. God did something good. What did He do good? In the, that, for me, that's just the most tragic situation. Mm -hmm. You lost your mom. What did he do that was good that you see? Well, um, in the midst of that, he shoes me, and now, like, I'm going out and preaching at different um, various um, youth, service, youth services and different stuff like that. And um, he just used me during that bad situation that we were going through. He used me for his glory. Do you miss her? Yes, I do miss her. And um, well, I, and I actually um, helped a young, a, another young boy at my school who lost his mom wow. um, during the cancer. Wow. And um, I felt like I really helped him mm -hmm. during that situation mm -hmm. that he was going through. And your pastor, um, I, I saw you put in the book, Pastor Tanya helped you out a lot through this process. What has she been to you? How has she been such a help to you at a moment like this? Um, well, she just um, helped me with the book and I was telling her about it. She was like, you know, okay. And um, I started writing and I will let her, um, you know, see it because she actually wrote her book herself. Wow. Um, Reflections of Hope. Um, it's like a devotion for. Um, Come on, you better know that book. You can tell yeah. somebody when they don't read a book. Honey, yeah. she just spit that thing like that. Reflections yeah. of Hope. You better go ahead and talk, Kinsley. I love you. I love you. We got to yeah. go, but I love you real quick. Yeah. So, where can we find this book at? Where can the people go and support this book right here? Where, where can we find the book at? Where's the book? 
Well, um, you can contact my daddy, Fred Reed, or you can contact um, Pastor T or um, my uncle, um, Elder S. and Reese Reed, or um, you can go on my Facebook page and um, Come on, she better request, have a Facebook page. request your book and it's on Amazon. And how much um, are the books? Well, on if you want the Kindle edition, it's five dollars, okay. and if you want the regular paperback edition, it's ten dollars. Say no more. I'm giving five copies out today. Hit me up an email today. I'm going to before they leave the studio. Go ahead and have these books ready. Hit me up today. We will get the copy. You'll have to come by Watch Fox and pick it up. Unless you're far away, we'll get it mailed out to you. Y'all know I'm bad about mailing stuff, but we'll get somebody from the team to mail it out to you. I'm going to support you. I'm going to sew into your ministry. So five books we're going to sell automatically because we've got to support. And we'll be praying for you and praying with you. And I want you to come back because I want more of your story. I know we got to rush through today, and I know we went way over time today. Thanks, Chris, for holding me through for that. But, Kinsley, we are praying for you. Baby, you're someone special, and God has something great for you. And we're praying that you continue to train. Listen, train up a child in yes, the way sir. that he or she should go. And when she gets old, he gets old, that they won't depart from it. I love you, boo. Come on and give me some love. Come on here. Oh, yes. Uncle Jeffrey, that's right. Uncle Jeffrey loves the kids. That's it. More is happening on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Your coffee cups are up. Your pinkies are out. You're getting lamped. Good morning. <laughs> Cannon and Graves is a proud sponsor of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Located at 1837 Wilson Road in Newberry, Cannon and Graves has the perfect certified used car for you. Their extensive inventory has something in every price range, and they can get everyone financed, regardless of credit. All cars come with a warranty to give you the peace of mind you deserve. Come see Steve and Reggie, and find your new car at Cannon and Graves. Good morning, welcome back to the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, put your coffee cups down. Right now, we're still continuing the conversation about National Kidney Disease. Of course, March is National Kidney Month, and over 200,000 people are affected, are diagnosed on a yearly basis with National Kidney Disease. And I'm excited because South Carolina has picked up the mantle, and we are moving forward with bringing highlight and awareness to such a topic as this. And I'm excited because Warren, Tamika, and Samika are in, now Tamika and Samika, are y'all sisters? I love those names that rhyme together. We just old sisters. We just old sisters. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Good morning. Welcome all of you to the show. How are you this morning? Doing wonderful. Awesome. Doing well. Outstanding. Doing Outstanding. Well. So national kidney disease. Kidney disease is something that, you know, when you think about it, people talk about it when they think of dialysis and think of um, dealing with situations like that. However, it's not a conversation that is as prevalent as cancer yeah. or maybe HIV or hypertension. Why do you think that is? The awareness. Mm -hmm. The yeah. awareness is not there in our communities. And the things that are out there are diabetes mm -hmm. and high blood pressure. We know about those things. Right. We've known about those things for so many years, but we had no linking to the diet. The, the, the disease. Mm -hmm. And yeah. how that disease, how those things actually trigger kidney failure yeah, and how exactly. it causes that exactly. to actually take place throughout. And so you all have picked up the mantle and said, you know what, we're going to bring awareness to this um, touching and very prevalent subject, especially in the African American community. Mm -hmm. So you all have been talking about it. You've been doing a lot of fundraising. Yes. I saw that you all were at, um, what was it, Applebee's or Fats? Applebee's. Yes. Pancakes. Yes. 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 Every, all of our team members are actually in the back in Applebee's. We wow. had no staff from Applebee's, so that you, was So y'all did the cooking? We did the cooking. And every day. Y'all held it down. Yes. You were that flipping on. Were you, doing, were you the hostess? I was serving. You were yes. serving? Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, I'm not, Samika said, I'm not going to be in front of no, anyone's no. at all whatsoever. Not going to make it happen. So do you, do any of you know someone that has been um, diagnosed with kidney failure, and what has that been like? Yes, well, I'm um, personally affected with it. My mother is um, a stage five chronic renal patient. Wow. Um, she's what does that mean? Because I, I want to share with the viewers <clears throat> so to make sure that they understand. What does it mean when someone is stage five? She's pretty much, her kidneys are failing. They okay. have failed. Okay. So right now she's not on dialysis, but she's in the need of a kidney transplant. Okay. Um, and so with me, it's personal. Okay. You know, I'm her caretaker. She's at home with us. So mm -hmm. we see the effects. I'm also a nurse. So when I first started nursing, that was my career, taking care of those uh, that patient population. So it's always been something close to home for me and just being that you learn, you know, what they deal with, mm -hmm. the symptoms, and, you know, what they have to battle with um, day by day. Did you choose that field of nursing because your mom was already dealing with no. it? Or, so you went into this field. Exactly. Had no clue that mom was going to be diagnosed exactly. with anything of that nature. Exactly. And then in the midst of it, 
it, was it hereditary? Is that something, is kidney failure something hereditary or does it come, I know we can get it from the hypertension and, and it, diabetes and different things it, of that nature. Exactly, it can be hereditary, but mm -hmm. with her um, situation, it was related to her diabetes okay. and her, her, her hypertension, mm -hmm. which is something that affects our population, African-American population. Right. I always tell people, uncontrolled diabetes, uncontrolled hypertension, equals kidney failure. Wow. How have you, what have you seen in your mom? Because I know over the years mm -hmm. you've seen, so tell me your mom pre and post. What, how has life changed for her since that Well, time? she's a go-getter. Okay. You know, she's busy, but with the kidney um, issues, of course it slows her down. Okay. Sometimes she has shortness of breath. Sometimes she'll have swelling. Um, and just fatigue, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times the kidneys are used to flush those toxins out your body. Mm -hmm. So when those kidneys are not functioning at 100% or either 50%, those toxins build up. Mm -hmm. So you have to find alternative ways, you know, when you stop urinating to make sure those toxins, watching her diet, you know, she can't eat, you know, you know, we like pork chops. Come on now, let's <laughs> <That's the, laughs> <it. laughs> <laughs> don't come for me right now, you know I'm struggling. Okay. It is a battle in every form yeah. of fashion, but we love those things. Yeah, we got and sometimes, and, and let's just be honest about it, sometimes, um, we deal, we eat those particular things because they're cheaper. They seem like they're more cost right. effective. Yeah. I can manage that. If I have a family of four, I can manage doing um, pork and beans, beans rice, rice and sausage and, right. and just, and you can, can make that meal um, stretch, stretch. Right. Yeah, exactly. more than you would um, dealing with someone who is just like, um, the healthy eating, the yeah. salads yeah. and stuff. It's not filling, you know, in your mind right. as when you're feeding children, exactly. plus you're trying to feed your husband, your wife, right. or whoever it is that yeah. it may be. So yeah. I can see how we will get caught in that. Now you said one thing that, that puzzled me, she's not on dialysis. She's not. But she's stage five. She's stage five. How is that possible? So her doctors are wonderful. Okay. Shout out to Columbia Nephrology. But Good morning. with that, um, you know, certain people, <clears throat> their levels could be to a certain level and they start displaying certain symptoms okay. and they automatically need to go on dialysis. With mm -hmm. my mama, she's been blessed enough to be at this point that even though her numbers look like a typical dialysis patient, mm -hmm. she don't display those symptoms at all times. So it's a day by day process. Okay. Mama, how you feeling? How you doing? Okay. And that gives me the unction and the um, desire, the passion to join the National Kidney Team, fa right. South Carolina Foundation, and Mr. Warren, mm -hmm. and just tell people this is what we're trying to prevent. Not only take care of our dialysis community or our kidney community, but how can we work on prevention so nobody else has to experience okay. this? Do you yeah. ever live in fear of something happening to your mom? Every just day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. But she is strong, so my strength is because of her strength. Wow. Yes. Wow. You know, it's not in God's mm. strength, of course, so. <laughs> right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Warren, now you're yeah. going to be one of the honorees for this year. Yes, I am. At the, um, spur, the Sparkles and spur, Spurs, the Spurs and Sparkles, sparkles yes. Gala <laughs> right. that's going right. to take place. That's so how true. does it feel to be one of the honorees this it, year? It, it's an honor. It's an honor. I, uh, I haven't done what I should be doing in the community. Okay. But my, my, my goal is to, to just blow it out of the water. Okay. Um, what, what made your passion to get involved well, I'm on dialysis. On You're on dialysis. I am. I am and yes. let me share this. Can I say this, Mr. Yeah. Warren? You look amazing. This skin <laughs> looks good. Yes. This skin, can we get some claps right there? This skin looks good. You look absolutely, yes. you know how sometimes when you see people who are on dialysis, right. they look drained. Right. They look right. like, you know, because I think dialysis, the, um, what is it, take the water off? It of does, you? yeah, it takes the fluid blood. off of you. Okay, yes. so you know, like when you see that, it's like sometimes, and you don't want to say, I don't know how to put it into words, but they right. look different, but right. you look absolutely amazing. How Thank long you. have you been dealing with your um, kidney issues? For about 12 years. How has life changed for you? Uh, diet, uh, you know, things you can drink, things you can't drink, mm -hmm. uh, uh, physical activity. You know, I don't get tired, I don't get worn out because mentally, I'm not gonna let it beat me. Wow. You know, so wow. I wanna show that passion and give everybody else that same passion I have to life. But here's the Just question. Just don't give up. Let me, let me ask this. Because you're going through. Oh, yeah. So really, like, you know, a lot of times when people are going through, it's like, hey, <clears> I need <throat> I need everyone to, like, I'm going through, so right. I need the help. Right. But you're saying, no, no, hey, I'm going through, but there is someone else who may be worse off than me, yeah. so let me try to help them. Exactly. What gives you the will and the desire to do that? My man upstairs. Wow. God, uh, wow. Our, our church is, is very good at... Uh, Who's put, your church? Uh, C2C, okay. Chosen to Conquer. Okay. Um, our pastor is very, you know, about the God. He's, mm -hmm. he's a great preacher. Wow. And with that, I've grown through not only wanting to live more, but to show and help other people mm -hmm. um, live. It's about my life on earth is to help other lives. Mm -hmm. So whatever I can do to, to help someone live longer or help somebody have a better life, 
I'm all in. Whatever it is. I'm so Spurs on. and Sparkles Gala yeah. is going to be taking place. It's going down it's going March 19th. 19th. Talk to us about it. Give us some information. Give us all the power key elements. All right. So March 19th at 7 p.m. Okay. at the State Museum, we are having our Spurs and Sparkles Come on, Gala. State Museum. Now so, tell us Spurs and Sparkles. What, what, is, what is that all about? This is the time to unwind, unwind. and bring on your cowboy hat. Come on, cowboy bring hat. Bring those Spurs and those Sparkles. Come yes. on. So listen. Yeah. So, so we're, gonna, we're, we're going to the rodeo. Yes, we yes. are. We're going to the rodeo, yeah. but we're going to rope in going to kidney failure. Exactly. We're going to rope yeah. in money yeah. right. to help those families out there who need that help, That's who right. need that support. Exactly. And tonight is the night that, you know what, you're not even going to think about the fact that I may have kidney disease or my right. mom may have exactly. it, right. but this is the night that I'm just going to, we're just going to turn up and they will stay <laughs> in the young people <laughs> now and just enjoy what right. we're going to yeah. do. Yeah. How can people, are tickets still available? Because I know the tickets were almost gone. Oh, are yes. tickets still available? Tickets are still still available. Outstanding. But tickets are going by March 16th. The early bird special is going to be over. No, what's the early bird special? Early bird special, $50 and $50 $50. Y'all think about it and you get $50. You, you get your drinks. Mm -hmm. You get your catered meal by Mama D's. Wow. Mama D's. Come on, Mama D's. Come Mama, on, D's. Come on, yeah, Mama D's. Mama D's. And we also are having a cigar lounge for our guys. So, you know, that time to unwind. Unwind. Just, Those guys know, need a chill, time. Chill. Yes. Y'all would yes. say, you know, do a little something <laughs> or whatever the case and may be. And our fabulous is. queens need a time to look at our fashion. That's so it. we have a fashion show at the same time. Outstanding. So we will be mingling in with different people from the community, activists, patients, honorees, um, honorees all of those things will be in the building that night. So it's a it's a whole... Party. And definitely want to give a shout out to Kimberly Suber, yeah. um, Mama you know, Kim. Mama Kim, <laughs> uh, who has done such an outstanding job. Kim, thank you so much for everything that you've done and all of the people, all of the ones who are working on the committee. So it's going down March 19, March 19. 7 p.m. at the South Carolina State yeah. Museum. It is the Spurs and Sparkles Gala before Feb on March 16th. So today, when you see this on, today you need to purchase your tickets and they're only $50, but they're, they're to such a great cause and last Amen. but not least whatever you're doing out there and whoever you are get tested Amen. know your status know what is going on with you kidney failure is real but we can deal with it and we can take back our community yeah. one person at a time Amen. am i right about Amen. it Amen. 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 So God, be able to go. listen keep it right here i'm coming back with some closing words more is happening on the jeffrey lampkin show your coffee cups are up your pinkies are out you've been lamp good morning jeffrey lampkin <laughs> Cannon and Graves is a proud sponsor of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Located at 1837 Wilson Road in Newberry, Cannon and Graves has the perfect certified used car for you. Their extensive inventory has something in every price range, and they can get everyone financed, regardless of credit. All cars come with a warranty to give you the peace of mind you deserve. Come see Steve and Reggie, and find your new car at Cannon and Graves. Wow, what an amazing show. Listen, make sure, first of all, that you go and buy Kelsey's Reed new book. Make sure you go get that book. Of course, we take the segments on different days, so I know y'all see me in different clothing throughout, but make sure you go get her book, an absolutely amazing book, and we're keeping you in our thoughts and our prayers, Kelsey. And also, March, National Kidney Awareness Month, the Spurs and Sparkles Gala, get your tickets. It's gonna be a great week. Your coffee cups are up, your pinkies are out, and because God is the greatest power, you shall not be defeated. You have God's favor. Good morning, everybody. Just for you, smiling at the sky, love you. Yeah, I'm the lamp, 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 lamp. The Jeffrey Lamp, yeah. <laughs> Somebody turn the lamp on.